Hello, this is Rachel with the Grace Company Tech Support. I'm going to teach you batch import so you can take your patterns that you bought online and put them on Quilter's Creative Touch. First, let me get those patterns from online. I've got some free patterns from my Creative Stitches for this example. After getting those, I'll select Download Files. I'll download those files. I'll open what I just downloaded. And there are my patterns. I'll drag this folder to a flash drive. Now you can see that the folder I just put on the flash drive is right there. Eject your flash drive before removing it physically. After you put your thumb drive of your patterns onto your tablet, go ahead and open your software. It may be easier to do the import while your software is in simulation mode, but you can do it when it's not in simulation mode. For this example, I will be using simulation mode. You can find batch import in either select and sew or pantograph. It will be in the same area in both. For this example, I will use pantograph. I will also choose random numbers since I will not be sewing during this session. If you haven't put your thumb drive in at this point, go ahead and do so. We have already done so in this example. Now, go to the corner where it says plugins and select that. A pop-up should appear with three options. You will pick the top option, which says batch import. This may look similar to your patterns folder, but it is missing a lot of patterns. That's due to the fact that batch import will not recognize GPF files because it's looking for other file types. Since we have our thumb drive in, go to the top of the batch import window and select new drive. In this pop-up, you will see a C drive and another drive. Normally the other is a D drive, but sometimes it can be something else. The C drive is your computer memory, but we're looking for the flash drive memory. For this example, I will select the D drive, which is our flash drive memory. If your files are not immediately on the flash drive, you will have to navigate to the folder that your files are in. I will select the Elizabeth set. You may see these different file types and wonder which ones to select. The file types that work with our software can be found on our website. These are the associated file types that work with our software to be imported. DXF, QLI, and more. Based on the folders here, DXF, HQF, QLI, TXT, and SSD will work with the software. We can select any of those and they will import. A popular one is QLI, so I will select that one for this video demonstration. Select Multi in the bottom left corner of your batch import pop-up. This will allow you to select multiple patterns. It will show you the patterns you have selected by showing a blue box around your pattern. We want all of these patterns, so we will select the All None. Once these are selected, we can select Import to begin the import process. Once this is done, we can select OK. If you want to import more patterns on your flash drive, select Yes. If you are done, select No. We are done. If you want to find the patterns you just imported, they will not be in your general patterns folder. You will have to click on patterns and then click on batch folder to see them. And there are the new patterns that you just imported. If you want to organize them into different folders, watch our video, how to organize patterns. That is how you import a pattern. If you have any questions, call the Grace Company.